everybody, today I'm going to be doing kind of outfit of the day kind of review on this dress. This is the Ophelia dress from Lindy Bop. Anybody who's been following me on Facebook or Tumblr for a few years would have seen my photo shoot that I did with Remedy Photography, I think in 2015, where I was wearing the same dress. But actually it was for that I had purchased uh, a very similar dress from a different company uh, for about four times the price and it ran so short through the torso, um, it, it wouldn't have mattered what I weighed, it was just way too short for my torso. Uh, the arm size were extremely tight on me, there just didn't seem to be enough room for my shoulders. Um, when like if this is supposed to be the bottom of the bust it was like halfway up my bust and uh, where the natural waist was supposed to be ended up kind of on my upper ribs so there's no amount of cinching that I could do in a corset to get these upper ribs to be smaller <laughs> enough to fit that dress I was told by the other brands customer service that because the bust is pleated it has an accordion type effect so if you were fuller busted it would expand to accommodate that and that is actually not true because um, in this dress and in the original dress that I purchased it's lined at the bust line here so it's not going to expand anywhere. Now there's nothing wrong with the bust line being lined, you know, it's, it's lovely, it's well done, it's very good quality, but it's not what that other brand's customer service told me would happen and I kind of trusted their advice on the sizing and it ended up, I, I never was able to wear it. So that was another reason why I kind of went with a different company. Now I don't consider myself to be a very tall person. I'm five foot five and uh, that's 165 centimeters for those of you who are into the metric. I do consider myself a bit long through the torso, but when I measure my torso length, I measure it basically from here to here, you know, from, from under my bust to, to my hips, whereas they're measuring their torso from the natural waist to the shoulders, and I don't consider myself to be particularly long in this area. I should say that I'm not particularly upset with the quality of the garment, it just didn't fit the way that uh, they said it would. It didn't fit the way that they had me expect it to. So because of the time constraints with my upcoming photo shoot and everything, um, pay paying the shipping in both directions and paying for duty twice and all that, I decided to go with a cheaper brand and to try out Lindy Bop. And that ended up kind of being a good thing because now I'm able to compare the quality of two different um, vintage reproduction dresses across two different brands. So even though my measurements are closer to a US size 6 or a UK size 10, um, for the Lindy Bob I ended up uh, deliberately sizing up just to make sure that the length was where it could be. And although it fits quite loosely in some areas, especially the waistline here, which is why I have it belted, uh, it fits much better through the bust, the shoulders, and the arm side. Because I knew that I could always take the dress in where I needed it to be, you know, have more of a cinch. Actually for my photo shoot I ended up using a cinch clip in the back. The nice thing about using a belt or a cinch clip as opposed to taking it in, like actually sewing it at the side seams, it means that I can wear this dress with or without a corset depending on how I'm feeling that day. So I put my hair up so you can see the silhouette of the dress a little bit more clearly. So when I am wearing this dress with a corset underneath, I prefer to wear it with a more conical rib corset. I feel that with, with a straight rib corset like I'm wearing today, it seems to be a little bit more historically accurate compared to my very pinched in kind of almost pipe stem corsets or very cupped rib corsets. So today I'm wearing my black trainer by Rebel Madness. If you haven't seen that, I'll post the review in uh, the cards up above or the description down below. So when I'm not wearing it with the belt here, I could probably take this in like four or six inches in the waistline here. Um, but I like to wear it with this belt. So this is a, a little elastic belt. It's a kind of a bit of a finishing belt and this one is from Orchard Corset. And this little belt I got in the size extra small because I wanted it to fit over my size 22 corsets. But this is elastic so it can fit over a variety of waist sizes. So if I wanted to wear my corsets at 24 inches one day, I could do that. If I wanted to wear this little belt even without any corset underneath, it might give me like a one or two introduction, very, very mild in the waist. Uh, but I like to just use it to show off um, my corseted waist. And it has like the cutest little short busk. It's the shortest busk I've ever seen in my life. Although I tend to naturally gravitate to more fitted, kind of more hobble style or pencil style skirts, uh, I do love the fact that I got this style in the full skirt because it's so fun to play with and I get to twirl in it and everything. And uh, the nice thing about the fuller skirts, especially the circle skirts, is it doesn't matter whether you have uh, wider hips or more narrow hips, it's, like this is pretty much gonna fit everybody. And if you do naturally have more narrow hips, of course you can wear it with a little 
petticoat underneath. This is my off-white petticoat that I got from uh, Lulu and Lush, Fairy Goth Mother. And um, it gives you the illusion of wider hips, so it creates more contrast at the waist here and makes your waist look even smaller. Of course, wearing a corset does make your waist look more narrow anyways, uh, but even if I weren't wearing a corset today, just the fact that I have a fuller petticoat will make my waist look smaller, my uncorseted waist look smaller by contrast. Wearing a petticoat underneath also helps you stealth your corset a lot easier because when you're wearing a very fitted pencil skirt, um, you might have to worry about that sort of pelvic protrusion happening or you might have to worry about the sh shape of the hips, whether it's kind of like a sloped hip or a square hip and how you might uh, combat that silhouette if you don't like the way it looks under your dress. But with the petticoat, it kind of fluffs out in all directions. You don't have to worry whether you are wearing a long line corset or a short hip corset. You don't have to worry if it's bowing in the front here and causing any pelvic protrusion. You don't have to worry whether your corset has square hips or round hips or sloping hips because the petticoat just kind of smooths everything out underneath it. But the best part of this dress by far, and I know that Torrin Page is going to agree with me on this because she's been making a lot of full skirts lately, is the fact that it's got pockets! Yes! So yeah, this is this is good, and it, it is enough to fit my cell phone inside. It's not huge. If I were to kind of redo this pattern, I would be like make them, you know, pockets. I, I wouldn't want to carry a purse with it, and I'd probably make it like zip on the sides or something. Uh, but I'm a little bit like overzealous like that. <laughs> but you know what? When I first bought this dress, I did not know that it had pockets in it. But now that I know it, like I, I first discovered them when I first put on the dress. And I was just like, oh my god! But you know, now I'm 100% for the pockets. Okay, this was the first thing I grabbed. It's just like a th thing of uh, thread. But I can put this in here and you can see that it pretty much fully fits. Now that is gaping a little bit. What if I put it in the other way? So again, with the petticoat underneath, it kind of smooths everything out. Even if you have something a little bit heavier in your pockets, um, it's not going to be immediately noticeable. You're not going to get a lot of lumps. And you can see that it doesn't even gape open that much if there's something big in it, which is a nice deterrent for pickpockets. And more women's clothing needs big pockets. Here, I can't even find my own pocket. Here we go. More women's clothing needs big pockets. So this is my really quick, or perhaps not so quick, outfit of the day. Uh, the Ophelia dress from Lindy Bop, and the little decorative belt from Orchard Corset, and the uh, little petticoat from Lulu and Lush, which I had featured in some of my past outfit of the day videos, but you might have forgotten, so thought I would mention it again. Um, I hope you liked it. If you own anything from Lindy Bop, let us know what you think of it in a comment down below, um, because I would love to know how their other dresses fit, especially if you have a longer torso or a fuller bust. If you like these more casual type videos where I'm just kind of yakking in front of the camera and uh, you know showing off some outfits, if you want more outfit of the day or lookbook style videos, leave a comment down below and let me know. And so uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next week for another video. Bye.